Hey guys. Okay, um, I just did like a 30 minute video and it screwed up. So, okay. Um, how to actually create your server tour in three simple steps. Okay, first is construction, second is charging, third is casting. Um, your construction is, um, you have to have a symbolic representation of your server tour, like I said before. Um, it's really not hard. So what you get, um, you can do it very simply. Um, you can go ahead and you can write a letter. Act like you're writing a letter. Um, don't, uh, don't include like anything like horrid. Um, don't send your server tour after people unless um, that is something down the line that um, you feel that is appropriate and justified. Um, so you can, you can go ahead and you can, you can uh, construct, construct your, uh, your server tour. Um, what I did was I got, um, in my head, a sigil. I had no clue. So I wrote the sigil down on a piece of paper. Um, I took a prick of my left finger, um, just a tiny dab of blood, um, every once a year um, that is what my servitor gets fed that keeps our bond um, connected um, that keeps us connected um, so he's been alive for quite a few years now <laughs> um, okay so you're gonna get like a, a sigil or something um, you're going to start writing write down um, what your servitor is for its purpose um, if you can, if you can astral project, um, or just use your imagination like a child, go into um, just a fun place. Um, I go into my astral temple. Um, I create. Um, so this can take um, anywhere from um, one day. A servitor can last. Um, they do have expiration dates. So you can actually do a servitor to, say help you uh, with an exam for college or school or a, a creative servitor that's going to actually follow you to school and help you um, with you know your your work your studies um, it's been a long time since I've been at school so not 100% sure what you guys do in school anymore so you have everything written down and you're going to want to meditate put yourself into a like I said, a meditative state. Um, kinda uh, visualize if you can. If you can't, it's okay. Get that sigil written down. Um, somehow, say, okay, say you're, uh, you've named your servitor Sam. Take the, those three letters, write them down on paper, um, take, take them all, and make a symbol out of them. Um, that is going to be your servitor or thought form or tupla, tulpla, whatever that word is. It's going to be um, it's him or hers um, signature. Um, it's uh, its own symbol, signature, energy, and take it, look at it, stare at it until you start to see those lines fade out go into your meditative state, just close your eyes and just start to visualize. Um, keep that image in your head for as long as possible. Um, in the construction process, you can do this all the way up. You can do it for two years if you want to. That just keeps building and building and building that energy. Um, and now if it was a case of a servitor or an energy form, thought form floating around, that was causing havoc like mine did. I love you dearly, but you did, and you know you did. They talked to me. Um, then you're going to want to bind it. And I do have on my blog um, the Luciferian Banishing Ritual and Binding of Shadows. So that's fine. Um, this is not how you're going to do yours, because I don't think anything should be bound. Um, my views, um, I have evolved quite a bit from the Luciferian traditions and um, ideology. So you have that um, sigil written down. You have um, on your paper, you have everything written down. 
um, about what you want your servitor be exact you are creating your own baby so be precise be exact um, what you want it to do so okay say so Sam you have the name written down you've been meditating on that sigil for weeks and weeks and weeks um, some of you might be doing it for months um, some of you might be doing it for a year or two um, it's up to you um, on how long you want your servitor to stay alive you can give it an expiration date uh, mine does not have one I don't think so no he doesn't have one <laughs> um, so yeah just to fine-tune really get in there fine-tune make sure you uh, see that image of that sigil that you have me created specifically for your servitor um, stare at it until the lines like I said go away do that over and over that is letting that symbol soak into your subconscious um, and then it is still it, you're still creating on a subconscious level you just don't know it so go ahead do that for as long as you possibly can the construction process so that is isn't the meditations um, really kind of uh, getting into the astral realm and working with uh, this energy that you're creating you're feeding it so you want to feed it um, the best possible energy and intent uh, positive ones that you possibly can so do that for I would say if you're gonna do a servitor like mine I would say you could do it for about two weeks before you actually put it to work um, so you have now we're done constructing your servitor is constructed now what I did for my sigil I took the sigil I made two copies of it um, I took the, the prick of my left finger the left hand and I dropped it onto the paper the sigil and I burnt it now w along with um, the characteristics that I wrote down of what it was going to do for me personally um, whatever you guys choose to put your your servitor in um, I actually did I created him out of a one of those thrift store bottles really cool bottle um, I put the ashes in sorry that was a bit a bit rough um, I put the ashes of the burnt sigil inside I put the sigil inside I put his um, his intents um, everything I have ever written down about him inside um, I'm pretty sure I have like from the four corners of my house and four corners of my garden and just different things that um, I w would attain in the astral world the realm that I created him in so that is what you want to do that is specifically what you want to do you don't have to create him and make him look that elaborate I just I think everything should look amazingly awesome and bigger better faster more so okay you've created it um, so Sam has a name now after all of that um, you can it sounded so much better in my head so much better like 20 minutes ago when I had the whole video done um, you can go ahead you can give it uh, sorry smoke you can give it instructions um, if you haven't already given it instruction um, just kind of build that relationship up um, you can use your tarot cards any form of divination um, I use the Ouija board to find out what he wants he wanted pine needles he wanted pine needles <sighs> at the beginning of summer um, he is fine he is perfectly fine now um, he has not asked for anything else um, once a year I give him a drop of blood on the outside of his his bottle I don't know where but it's on there so that's Alpha Charm yeah he actually we have a mental telepathy going on so if 
uh, you feel like, okay, you wake up at 3 a.m., oh, oh my God, I think I just heard my servitor say something, write that down. Everything that you think you're hearing from your servitor, write it down. Because I would say nine times out of ten it is your servitor and not yourself. Um, yes, the, being imaginative and doing this seems silly, but it actually does work. You are creating that energy, you are building it, you are basically just shoving it into a tiny little mold and it's going to work for you. So you have, yeah, if you're, I don't know what traditions you guys are, so um, I would do it in a traditional witchcraft way. Um, I would do my compass. I would invite my energies in. Um, my god, goddess, Pan, um, Hecate, Lilith, Inanna, um, my ancestors. I would ask them all to help me and, you know, just kind of help me and guide me in working with the servitor. Perfect way to start. Um, it's not hard. Um, it's as hard as you make it be, as you make it out to be, and I'm making it out to be super hard. If I was listening to myself, which I am, obviously, I would be like, you're confusing me. So basically, when you're done with the construction, you have created him, you want to spend time with the physical object. So I would say, just, you know, just like the Ouija board, just like getting used to it. Hang out with it, take it with you, take it places. Um, give it something, give it offerings. Um, whatever attributes you have associated with this, your servitory, it is your servitory, your personal one. Um, if it wants, say, just a tiny vial of, oh, I don't know, any kind of alcoholic beverage, um, milk, um, give it to it. Um, say here, this is for, you know, what you've done for me, if it's done anything for you at all. Um, so some of you uh, don't smoke, some of you don't drink. Um, so some servitors, you know, might still might want that, you know, alcoholic beverage. Um, I don't, it's common, very common. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, that is the best way I can actually sum up of actually focusing your energy. Um, on that specific item for so long and then giving it um, a name and giving it um, a direction on what to do and what it's going to do for you. Um, eventually you will get to a point where you no longer have to use divination tools or guess or write down what your servitor is telling you. Um, I don't have to anymore because we do have that strong mental telepathy thing. Um, and then again, it will feed off you while you sleep to keep it going. So you can give it a time ex time period where you say, okay, Sam, um, I want you to do this in this time frame. And then your time ends here. That one, no, I have not done that with that. So really, you can create a servitor for anything. Um, it doesn't take as long as I thought. But then again, yes, it does. So if you want a strong, um, what the, the Buddhist monks do, go ahead and you can meditate with, in the construction process of meditating with it for years. So it can take up to years for whoever, however long you want, how powerful you want it to be. And yeah, just spend time with it, spend quality time with it, treat it like it's one of your, you know, one of your own because, you know, you've created it um, through a very alchemical process. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, just, just focus, focus your energy on that on that thought form. Give it give it a name. Give it an expiration date if you want. Um, put it someplace special. Um, once a year, if you're going to keep it for that long, give it a, a small offering. 
Um, you can even give it just a little bit of your saliva to keep the connection there. But since I have already bottled everything up, um, our connection is strong and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. But yeah, um, that pretty much, I think, sums it up. Um, very simple. You don't have to elaborate and go crazy like this. Um, over time, you might find yourself giving it more things, um, adding things to it. Um, that's what I've done, so. Yep, and that is my servitor. That is how you create a servitor. So, hopefully that helped everybody. Um, I do have a blog. Um, if you're dealing with a negative thought form or something that has uh, been unleashed by yourself, you would want to go ahead and use the Binding of Spirits from the Lesser Key of Solomon, which I do have blogged um, um, in my annotations on here somewhere. It'll pop up. Don't know where. I will uh, link it. I will link everything that I have written on my servitor and how to create one to this video. Um, and if you guys still want personalized Ouija sessions, just get a hold of me. We'll discuss raids. Um, Ryan, R-Y-A-N-J-E-S-P-I-C-H at gmail.com. Um, Wix.com slash uh, Mr. Ouija. You can go on there. Um, the menu bar, if you hover over home, it will drop down um, media. I am noticing that it is screwing with me. So the media is a drop down bar now under home so there are new I'm going to be adding new videos and new pictures and just all kinds of fun stuff and yeah I hope that answered um, and helped more on creating your servitor so um, all my new subscribers thank you guys so much you're amazing I love you all with all my heart humbly thank you all and um, happy manifesting happy creating and if you have any questions, um, you guys always know that I try my best to answer right away. So, alright guys, I love you all very much, and everybody have a great day. And if I didn't cover something, and if somebody else wants to chime in, like a little songbird that they usually do, go ahead. Um, that's acceptable. But alright guys, love you all very much, and I will talk to you all later.